Okay, are you honest? Why is there no update on the how to do front lever in 30 days? Here's why. So here's what happened after week three. I had a little inflammation in my right arm uh, and my triceps right in my elbow, which means I was unable to extend or bend my arms or right arm without any pain. So I had Ant come over, my friend, he did some body work on me and he really massaged the, the inflammation out basically. I used a lot of CBD products to reduce the inflammation. I took more rest days and I focused more on legs and uh, cardio, which I don't like, but I had to do it because I couldn't um, do anything with my arms. Yeah, so that's the reason why I didn't film the last one because it wouldn't have been anything because it would have been like a 10 second video where I was like, okay guys, I haven't been able to train, which is why there is no video. Anyways, so um, I feel way better now and uh, I am at the gym right now. I think I want to restart that whole thing um, because I lost two weeks. Not not saying that I lost the progress at all, but I feel like I, I have to start from scratch. This looks pretty tight. Good job, my boy. Shit! Yep, that's where we're going. Also, why? Why am I wearing Converse? Converse are amazing when it comes to um, squats, deadlifts, because it's super. Uh, the shoes are super flat. Oh wow, that must hurt. I don't know what you did, but not today, my friend. <laughs> oh, by the way, this baby has to go. Yep, I'm selling my baby. Bye bye. Why am I doing this? Uh, because I need more space, because I can't even go grocery shopping with Amanda, because uh, two or three plastic bags, paper bags, up there in the front, and the car is full. If I go shoot videos with Jan, we can basically bring the camera, Jan, and a tripod. I cannot bring any lights, I cannot bring anybody else, and uh, it's just a pain in the ass, so. And on top of that, you know when girls go through um, phases and then they, they change a lot in their lives and then they change their hair color or haircut? That's basically me doing right now. A lot of things happening, um, and since I cannot change my haircut or color, um, I have to change my car. So it's gonna be something else, it's gonna be something bigger, more powerful, mainly, but also very comfortable and efficient when it comes to, you know, shopping, shooting content, and just having friends in the back. Like, I cannot bring anybody in the back seat. And of course, right after the workout, I have to get my gains in. Um, since I'm on the run, uh, Amanda's shooting inside, so I cannot use the kitchen. So this is why I got a salad with a vegan, whatever that is, like, you know, crumble, taco, crumble thingy, avocado for my fat, and then black beans for some more carbs and fiber and Bennett. That's it for today's video. I will show you the exact workout after this video. After this clip, I will have a title card there and you know, uh, so you know exactly what I did. Um, one last word before I end this video. I love leg days, especially squats, because for me, uh, squats are a metaphor for life. When you think about it, life puts a lot of pressure on you, right? Um, and sometimes there are so many expectations. In school, you have to get a certain, you know, degree to be able to get a certain job. And then um, you have expectations of yourself, like what you want to achieve in life. You want to be successful. You want to drive a, a specific car. You want to live in a certain area. Like whatever it is, you put a lot of pressure on yourself. And then the outside society puts a lot of pressure on you as well because you know, you have to be a certain way. You have to behave a certain way. Whatever it is, we feel that. And sometimes we feel like we can't get up because the pressure is too much. 
So now use that at the gym. When you're doing a squat and you load it up with the weight, use that and be like, okay, this is all that stuff that's laying on my shoulders, all that weight pushing me down. But guess what? I'm gonna get back up. And you, you work that muscle. You work that mentality. Whenever someone puts more on your shoulder, you're like, I'm ready for it. You need my help? Let me help you. Put it on here. I got you. I'm gonna carry this on my back for you, for me, for my family, for my significant other, for whatever it is, I got it. That's all I wanted to say. I see you next time. Tomorrow is a new day. Give your best. I'll see you tomorrow.